impactful. Let's talk about Lord of the Rings. Specifically, let's talk about Aragorn in Lord of the Rings for Magic the Gathering. Uh, because as as Quarter Black Garrett, our friend Quarter Black Garrett, so, uh, so eloquently <laughs> put it, we was yeah. Kangs of Gondor. And yes, Magic the Gathering, the new Lord of the Rings themed cards. Here's Aragorn and Arwen. Jesus. And uh, if you hadn't noticed, there's something a little bit different about Aragorn. He's black now. There's a lot of people that have uh, provided a couple different uh, takes on this. Of course, CBR says MTG fans counter racist response to Lord of the Rings sets Aragorn with lusty reactions. Yeah, of course they Jesus. do. Look at this. Woke Magic the Gathering Lord of the Rings made Aragorn a black man, choosing wokeness over the actual fucking lore. Now you've pissed off the very <laughs> fan base you're trying to sell this overpriced crap to. New magic belongs in a landfill. God forbid we have a white guy next to a white girl. According to Wizards of the Coast, Aragorn, last of the Numenorians, is black. House of the Numenor was black. Garrett, uh, Galadriel, fairest and oldest of the High Elves, is black. Eowyn, shield maiden of House Rohan, is now black. Good they cannot God. create anything, only defile works of great men. They actually <sighs> tokenized Aragorn. And then you have, you know, some people like this. I saw that card. My first thought was, damn, Aragorn's hot. Uh, God, Aragorn's so hot, though. Uh, these are the people that they're pandering to. You have, you have Tolkien, who described in detail how these characters appear down to their eye color, things like that. Aragorn is not black. He's not black, yet they're trying to make him black, and it's, it's a joke. Go back just a couple years ago. And how many times did we say that stuff like this was going to happen? And you had all of these social justice freaks out there, all these pronouns in their bio, all of these weirdo furries, all of these freaks. And they're like, you guys just can't deal with the fact that they're just pushing diversity. They're not going to ruin all of your favorite characters. You guys are just being outraged for the sake of being outraged. Literally everything we said was going to happen has happened. And then some, it's even worse than we thought. It's even worse and they just continue to just throw their fucking finger up in our face and tell us go fuck ourselves. They do not care. They do not care. This is why you don't give them any respect in Hollywood. Make them earn it. They don't deserve shit. No, I don't have to give your movie a chance. I don't have to give your show a chance. I don't have to give anything that you're doing a chance. I don't have to be positive. I don't have to wait and see before I make up my opinion. No, I will roast the living fuck out of whatever you're throwing out there as long as you're pushing garbage like this. They do not deserve any respect. And anybody out there that's says don't be negative for the sake of being negative give them a chance wait until you see it that's the mentality they want because they want your money before you make up your mind no make them earn your opinion you don't owe them shit and this is what we continue to see and i'm so tired of it i'm so tired of it this goes all the way back to when wizards of the coast announced this back in july and you really had to look hard in this whole you know, set that they had, and we're like, wait, is that supposed to be Aragorn? And it was, it was a black guy. And you know, sure enough, they're continuing with that despite all the backlash. Um, and yes, you are. Spoiler alert: If you want to attract Lord of the Rings fans to buy your Lord of the Rings Magic: The Gathering cards, race swapping a character like Aragorn isn't going to do it. It's only going to piss them off. It's not going to make them support your product. And uh, th this is what we continue to see: uh, get woke, go broke. And, you know, it might take longer for some companies than others. Some companies have a lot of reach. They have a lot of market share. But eventually, over time, if you continue to push this woke propaganda, you will push people away. Yes, you will. And people are sick and tired of it. And whose fault is it going to be when it's all said and done? It'll be the racists. It'll be all the people that are intimidated by black people and women uh, in They'll just continue to shift the goalpost as they always do. But this right here, my goodness, man. Like, how bad can it get with Lord of the Rings? How bad can it get? It's going to get much worse, worse before it gets yes. better. It's not going to get any better. Trust me on that one. My goodness, man. How far things have fallen.